Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Rick here, and on today's video, we're upgrading our Airstream. We'll be installing the Froley bed system, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so as I said in the intro, uh, today we're gonna be installing the Froley uh, bed system in our Airstream. So if you own an Airstream or any RV for that fact, um, you've probably had a few nights of somewhat uncomfortable sleep. And uh, for Lisa and I, that's really not um, any different. You know, these, uh, these mattresses and the bed systems that we get in our Airstreams and other RVs are not necessarily uh, optimal for uh, sleep. Now you can, and many people do, buy replacement mattresses, uh, memory foam, toppers, and other types of apparatuses. But Lisa and I decided we wanted to upgrade our Airstream with the Froley system. And if you're not familiar with that system, what it is is a, a bed suspension type system where it provides some additional support and spring type uh, support, as well as uh, ventilation underneath your mattress. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and get this system installed. And then uh, at the conclusion of the installation, you know, Lisa and I will give it a few uh, nights of, uh, of a test ride, uh, you know, for lack of a better term. And we'll give you our thoughts on whether or not this system is worth the upgrade. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Okay, so we ordered the uh, Froley system about a week ago and just uh, received it. So we're going to go ahead and open up this box here and see what all is inside. I'll share that with you as well. Um, you know, like most people, I've, I've watched uh, some videos on, on this product and read up on it online. Uh, so not completely unfamiliar with it, but uh, so they got, uh, of course, a little flyer here. Kind of talks about the different... Uh, Models they have. We ordered the uh, the Star version here. Uh, looks like they also gave us a tool here for installation. Just a little invoice here, it looks like. And then uh, some other packing materials and what have you. So we'll go ahead and get all of that pulled out of here. And then, uh, let me see what else we got here. I'm assuming these are the actual pieces and parts. Yep, some more. Some more paperwork and talks about the installation. So I have to read through some of that, figure out how we uh, connect all this together. But as you can see, you've got the uh, the framework piece here, and I'll go through that here in a moment. And then the uh, the uh, supports, and we'll pull those out here in a minute, and we'll go through all of that. So um, give me a few minutes. We'll go ahead and review the uh, installation instructions, and we'll go ahead and get after it. Okay, so before we get started, uh, of course, we'll have to go ahead and remove the mattresses, which uh, you can see are still here behind me on this side, as well as on, on this side here. So we'll go ahead and get those pulled out and uh, get them placed uh, here in the hallway so we can go ahead and get everything ready for the installation of the uh, Froley system. Hey guys, now that we got the mattresses out of the uh, bedroom area, uh, we are gonna go ahead and remove this old system that we had installed previously. And this system here was called Den Dry, and I ordered it from Amazon. I uh, cut it to size to fit the, uh, the, the space for the mattresses, and it really was a good product for what it was intended to do. And, and it's, again, it's a felt-type material on the top, and then it has these plastic woven mesh um, components here on the bottom that elevate the mattress about half an inch to allow uh, some airflow through that to prevent any type of mold or condensation from building underneath your mattress. For what it was intended to do, it, it served its purpose, but uh, what we're looking for now in the Froley system is a little bit more than just the air um, circulation, which the Froley system will give us, but also the support of the spring system for the bed to make it more comfortable and more enjoyable night's rest and everything. So with this old system, again, I would recommend it if you're looking just to provide better ventilation for your um, 
mattress and, and airflow underneath it so you don't get any mold and mildew. But if you're looking for something more, then you may want to consider the Froley system, but we'll give you our uh, final opinions on that after we've slept on it a few nights to tell you whether or not we think it's really worth the expense. Okay guys, so we got everything uh, cleared out. We're ready to start with the installation. I uh, kind of did a quick review of the instructions. Yeah. So what you get in the box, and uh, I've got one of the boxes here, and this is ordered for the two twin beds, is you get this uh, set of base plates here that are kind of star-shaped, and as you can see here, comes out like so, and it's got some holes here and some connectors on this end here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay it out in this pattern here, and then once you get the pattern laid out, then you're going to use this tool here to connect each one of these um, base plates together. Once you have the base uh, plates all laid out, then you're going to install either these uh, darker blue or light blue springs uh, in the center of each one of these uh, base plates. Uh, the light blue ones are recommended for your shoulder uh, and back area, and they tell you that in the instructions of where to install those. If you want these to be a little bit firmer, then what they also come with are these little red clips here that you can install, which I've done on this one spring here, which is also then going to make it a little bit firmer. So if you want it firmer around your hips, but softer on your back or vice versa, then you can use these, and these can be adjusted and moved uh, to wherever you want to uh, make the mattress a little bit firmer. So again, the light blue is the softest spring, the, the dark blue is the, the stiffer spring, and then the dark blue with the red um, clips on there are the most firm of the springs. So once you get all this laid out, just assemble it, and then you're going to be good to go. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started and uh, let you follow along. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got the initial grid kind of laid down over here. Uh, I haven't connected them yet, but I wanted to just kind of go over a few things with you uh, before I move on to the next step. So as you can see here on this grid pattern uh, that I've got laid out, uh, there's three holes where you can connect uh, each one of these base plates to. So if you want a um, more firm hold, then you would go with this first hole. If you want medium firmness, you go with the middle hole. If you want less firmness you go with the outside hole and that's basically just spreading out the distance of the springs the blue springs that i'm going to attach on here next also you'll see along here where these don't necessarily fit along that curved edge uh, but what you can do and what i'm going to do here is i'll trim some of these edges off here so then i can slide the grid this way and get uh, more of the base plates along that curve in addition in the instructions it talks about uh, these uh, springs is once you attach them in here, then you'll twist them and they'll lock into place. But if you need to, you can trim off one of these corners uh, as long as you leave at least three of them intact. Uh, so if I need to trim off one of these corners to get it to fit in that curved area, I can do that as well. All right, so now that I've got pretty much the uh, the grid laid out the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and use this tool here, and I'll start locking all of the base plates into place. And then once I get those locked in, the ones on the outer edges that I may need to trim, then I'll trim those uh, before I lock them into place, and or any of these along the outer edge that I may need to trim, then I'll trim those as well before I lock all of the plates in. And then we'll move on to uh, attaching the, the support springs, the blue support springs, onto the base plates. Okay, so the last step that we're going to take is we're going to install some of these red clips along the outer edge of the, uh, the bed here uh, to provide a little bit of extra support so it doesn't break down the mattress on the edge where you sit on the edge of the bed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get these installed. And then the beauty of these things are is if you don't want them on there, you can take them off. If you want to add some more uh, onto a next row, you can. Uh, so it's very versatile. So excited to see how well these clips work. All right, so we don't put them on these here because these are the, the springs that we want to have to be softer. 
for our shoulders and, and back area. And then these here, we want a little bit firmer. And then these on the edge of the bed, we want to be firm too, so the mattress doesn't uh, break down on the edge of the bed here and feel like you're falling off of the bed. So one thing you can see, hopefully, is you've got about an inch and three quarters space underneath here where your mattress is gonna rest. So you should have excellent airflow which should prevent any type of mildew or anything like that underneath there. So. All right guys, so it's on to side two. I'm gonna start putting my side of the bed together and then we'll call this project complete for today. Two weeks later. Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks since we installed the Froley system in our Airstream. So Lisa, what do you think? I think it's been a very good investment. You sleep so much better. Yes, I, I would agree. I'm very pleased with the uh, the product and would highly recommend it to any other Airstreamer that's looking to improve uh, the sleep quality uh, of your rig. So uh, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also, if you haven't already done so, give us a thumbs up. Or if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. And until next week, we'll see you down the road. See you down the road.